again, I'm Amber Moore and today I'm going to be making a hot and cheesy, crowd pleasy dip. I know pleasy is not a word, I just made it up. I do that a lot, but you know what, you can use that word too. I'm going to be using two kinds of our Philadelphia cream cheese. The first one is a third less fat and the other one is a whipped chive cream cheese. Also there's going to be red bell peppers, artichokes, some frozen spinach that I've thawed and drained, green chilies, hot crushed red peppers, some pepper jack cheese that I've shredded as well, and mushrooms. One of the things that I love about mushrooms, and I try to use them in as many dishes that I can, is that they're not only healthy with antioxidants, but they just have such a great flavor. And I live in an area outside of Philadelphia that's very close to a whole mushroom farm and area. So I'm not sure if any of you know this, but mushrooms don't really smell that well, especially when it's in a farm in a large area. So they don't smell that great, but they're great for you. So I guess there's a plus side to all vegetables. I'm just going to finish prepping some of the vegetables. Just so easy. Just want to give the peppers a little chop and just coarsely chop the artichokes as well. It doesn't have to be perfect. So easy. You just want the mushroom, the pepper, and the artichokes to be about equal portions. So just and when you cut the mushrooms, you don't want them to be too thick or too thin. And then you just put it all right in the bowl. I'm going to put all your ingredients in the bowl, including spinach, except for your pepper jack cheese and your whipped chive cream cheese. Leave those to the very end. You're going to mix those in to get that right creamy consistency. So what you're really doing here is just assembling all your vegetables first, and then the cheeses kind of go in, and then, like I said in the end, you'll add those last cheeses. So the next thing is the green chilies. What's so easy is you just open the can up and you pour it right in. You don't even have to drain it. It's, it, it really is such a crowd pleaser just because of that. It's tasty, it's easy, and something that you could bring to Mother's Day this weekend. Because another great fact about this is it's actually a healthier version of one of my favorite dips that I used to have as a kid. So I, I love updating recipes, seeing how I can make them healthier but still delicious because if you want to take something like this to a party, you don't want, you want it to just be really, really good and you want to impress people and uh, you want them to want to make it themselves. I'm going to add our hot crushed red peppers now to add that hop to our hot and cheesy crowd pleasy dip. Uh, just kind of eyeball it, you know. If it's uh, too spicy in the end, well, grab some water. But like I've mentioned, I love things spicy and I hope you do too. And uh, my friends always like it spicy, so. There is our cream cheese, our star, and it's all cubed up. We're just going to get that going into this vegetable mixture, the crowd pleaser part. And one of the things that, like I've said, you know, I just, I love creating different recipes, always, always, always inventing new recipes. My biggest problem is not thinking, what do I want to make, but it's thinking, what did I make? You know, I mean, my boyfriend in college is always like, oh, this is so good, you need to write this down, but I never, I never really did. And my mom would say, oh my gosh, Amber, this is so good. My sister, my friends, anyone. And it, I would be like, I don't know what I did, you know. And um, so, you know what, this Real Women of Philadelphia contest has helped me to do 
It's helped me to write them down. So thank you, Paula, for getting me in there and getting my pen and paper and remembering what I put in my recipes. Just finishing up the mixing on this, but you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be smooth. It's got those nice textures of the vegetables in it. And then you want to have that oozing cream cheese in there. It's just, that's the best part. So it's ready. I'm going to put it in my casserole baking dish that I've already pre-sprayed so things don't stick to the sides. Get that on there. Oh, doesn't that look gorgeous? That cream cheese. I just cover this with a little aluminum foil and I'm going to put it in the oven so it can bake up at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. I'm just going to go get the rest of the cheeses ready. I'm going to grate up this pepper jack cheese and also I want to let you know that make sure you give the artichoke dip a good stir during the middle of the cooking so it gets all nice and creamy and stays really moist in there. Ever since I was a kid I have always loved cooking. I loved watching it and as soon as I could I got into the kitchen to be able to do it myself. Uh, my mom would find me my little Barney outfit watching the cooking channel. Not watching cartoons or Barney or anything else like that. The cooking channel. And I mean I just remember sitting there so close to the TV just so I could see every single detail. And then as I got older I would watch and I would practice how they would cut and everything like that. So when I got into the kitchen I would be able to do things the way I saw them on TV. Now for the final finishing touches. Just brought this to the oven, steaming hot. Put in our whipped cream cheese here that has those yellow chives in it. And also our pepper jack cheese that we grated up earlier. Put some of that right in. Look at that, all that oozing goodness. You can serve this dip right in the same dish or you can put it in a pretty presentation and let the artist come out and you. Now I've made my presentation and I'm ready to try my hot and cheesy crowd pleasing dip. I'm definitely ready for a party. I hope you are too.